Hi guys, Kyle here from C4 Depot and today I'm going to be showing you our exciting new product called Infinite Mountains plugin. Once installed correctly, you will see it showing up under Infinite Mountains under presets and you'll have these two options here. To add it to your scene, just double click and you will have a scene sort of like this and to start using it, go ahead and activate this camera right here. All right, so now we're we're in. So Infinite Mountains is an infinite snowy mountain landscape generator tool. So uh, no matter how far you want to pan your camera, fly around or move, you'll always have mountains covering your screen no matter what, which is really cool. You'll, you can see that in our other products, Infinite Ocean, Infinite Dunes, and more is on the way. So let me uh, go ahead and show you how to use this thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on Infinite Mountains up here. This, this parameter, overall height, is going to determine uh, basically what it's called, overall height of the mountains. This mountain scale is going, you could scale the mountains down or, or up depending on you know, the scale of your scene. That way you don't have to scale the elements to, that match the mountains. Instead you can just go ahead and scale the mountains to your scene. Alright, next thing we have here is a thing called C4 Depot Fog. So this thing it's going to give you the ability to create really awesome realistic fog. So when you enable it, you'll see this uh, preview here of the fog radius. So it's disabled, it's not there. You enable it, boom, fog radius. Next thing is the fog color. This will be uh, the first part of the slider is the color of the fog near, and the further away would be the color of the fog far away. Fog strength is how thick do you want the fog. Fog elevation, um, you'll see here when I change the elevation, um, you can barely see it, but you can have the fog start low or high. Uh, this would be uh, the radius from the camera, that'd be this outer radius here. So if I wanted it to choke it in a bit, I can go ahead and decrease that value. Now you can see it's closer to the center here. Basically, when you're going to need this is if you're flying up really high in the sky, um, you're going to want a much further distance so that you don't see past the fog in an unrealistic way. Relative scale, um, right now it's at 5% height and 100 X and Z. So if I change the Y to say 100, you can see now on the Y axis it's tall. Bring it back down. I like it to be a little bit flat. That way you can still see some of the sky in the background beyond the fog. Okay, next thing we have is the snow fall off, and this basically is um, going to control at what angle is the snow going to start to fall off. So right now this is fairly covered, but uh, if we want to change that we can have it move in this direction more. Now we will have uh, less snow, more rock. See. Okay, the next thing we have is the bump detail, and this is just going to change the small details on the mountains such as uh, the bumps here in the mountains and some of the rippling here. Next thing we have is ridge small layer and if we change that we can see interactively it's changing the smaller ridges in the mountains. Ridge big, this is going to go ahead and adjust the size of the bigger ridges. And then we have big mountain strength, so this can be used to increase or decrease ginormous mountains. Subdivision editor, this is basically uh, the subdivision we're going to see in our editor. Keep in mind the higher it is in our editor the slower it's going to run when you're editing. So I recommend keeping this low and your subdivision renderer is going to go ahead and give you four subdivisions so it's going to look like this when you render it and not so blocky. Just keep in mind this is preview so you can basically get a general idea of the shape of the mountain so you could fly around without hitting them and then the final render is going to end up subdividing it beautifully like this. And last but not least we have this important feature which is random seed which is going to give us the ability to randomly generate different patterns in the mountains. So if we don't really like the way things are positioned right out of the bat you can just flip through these things until you get it. You're good to go. Uh, I really recommend my other plugin for this called Real Sky Studio because it works perfectly for these infinite landscapes and helps render realistic lighting really really fast. 
if you want realistic looking atmospheres for your massive environments go ahead and check out real sky studio you just load it in and uh, load in a preset and voila now you have very very realistic skies added with uh, proprietary ambient lighting so I would check that out together they work awesome and also we have a new feature called C4 Depot Mountain you can load this in here like that double click on the content browser this is basically a static mountain it's um, if you need a mountain to where you need to edit the mesh or you want to selectively place a mountain somewhere you can enable disable here um, change the scaling of the material here the fall off of the snow the size of the mountain is here the width and depth segments that would be the subdivision of this thing rough furrows would be the bigger furrows you could see changing in scale right there fine furrows would be the smaller bad boys and uh, this would be the scale of all the furrows combined um, sea level be like a uh, create different effects with that and plateau level you can create a, a flat top mountain and seed so here we can just go ahead and flip through until you you know getting different types of mountains and here we have a subdivision so if you wanted to go ahead and give it a bit more smoothing you can do so here alright guys well that concludes this overview I hope you guys enjoy this new plugin you guys have an awesome day take care now